least Roger doesn't know yet. I know I have to tell him. I have to. He's got to hear it from me. And I tell you, it would make it a lot easier. Roger's not a little Bridget recently? I mean, really talked to her? What's going on with her? Oh, well, I think everything's going good for her. She wants to take over managing the boarding house from Ed. Yeah. She had me drop an estimate. She wants to restore it to the way it was when her grandmother lived there. And I, I think she's planning on going to college. Dylan, tell me the truth. Is there anything going on between the two of you? <laughs> no. No, I just felt bad for her about the other day. No big deal. In fact, we're both trying to set each other up tonight. She's going through her whole inventory of all the girls she's met, and I'm trying to figure out a guy that could put up with her. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds like a challenge. <laughs> it should be interesting. <laughs> well, I better hit it. I'm going to see you at the party, okay? Yeah. All right. Have fun. Okay. I'm glad you're going with us. All right. Why couldn't you tell me anything on the phone? Look, I realize we haven't been seeing eye to eye lately, but we are friends. Holly, I've had horrible images banging around inside my head ever since you called. Now, no games. What's going on? I don't want you to be alarmed at what I'm going to show you. Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm just a little anxious. I'm not sure I did the right thing by calling you. You've got to promise me you're not going to tell anybody about this. Oh, God, what has she done now? What? Oh. Eve. Look, I left her back at the house. Whatever happened, no, it's not her fault. No, it's it's not, mine. It's she was Eve. at the hospital. It's not Eve. I'm going to have to tell you about that later. Now, would you just bring your medical bag and come with me? I'm sorry, you guys. I wish I had some champagne or something. I, I know we're all tired of waiting for this. No problem, darling. All right. Quite a little trek for your brother to come visit. I know, it really is. I mean, he never comes out to visit just me. Who am I? I'm well, just his big sister. Starting already, you know. Twelve-year-old kid making a pilgrimage out here for, for a kiss. Oh, I think it's a lot more than that. Tangie's been around the world. She's dined with famous rock stars. I mean, that's pretty impressive stuff. Mm. Speaking of mad crushes, I still have one on you. Is that all right? It's more than all right. Listen, though. Remember the day we came over here after Mindy's engagement party? Bill was here, right? I don't... I don't remember why. Oh, no reason. You know, your brother, he's sure moving up in the income brackets. I mean, when I was a girl his age, I didn't get expensive perfume from a boy, and I thought I was worth it. <laughs> I know. Tell me about it. All I ever got was some ID bracelets with their names initialed on it, and it turned my arm green. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have switched IDs so much. Oh, come on. I wasn't that bad. And I've been paid back in spades. Believe me, I currently have a fiancé who has a knack for being late for everything. I don't even know Where if he's going to make it to the party. I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you just come with us? You don't have to wait around here. Well, I, I kind of like to be come here. Come on. Why don't you just leave a memo in your answering machine? Oh. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Um... Hi, honey, it's me. I decided to go to the party with Josh and Tangie, so you can meet me over there. Okay. And hurry up, you jerk, because I look oh. gorgeous. I love you. Everybody else, leave a message. Okay, you guys, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you and I are going to be down at the whole party.
appreciate this, don't you? Finding me alive and in Holly's bed. All right, that elbow's going to give you a certain amount of pain, but it's going to be all right. Chest wound is a different matter. Has anyone looked at you since you were shot? No, just been hanging out in the basement, enjoying the saga of your love life, occasionally raiding Holly's medicine cabinet. Well, a couple more days in a dark and cold cellar and even modern medicine wouldn't have been able to help you. Okay, here's the deal. <clears throat> You've got a bullet lodged in your chest. It's like a time bomb. This is only going to stop you from dying of the infection. Take it four times a day. <laughs> hey, I can't have this film made out to me. Nobody knows I'm alive except Chrissy and Holly, and now, unfortunately, you. And you got to keep it that way. You can't let anybody know until I have a chance to find out who did this. Why is that? So you can repay the bullet? Not good enough. Oh, yeah? Okay, how about this? I saved your life on the cliffs. You owe me. I just saved yours. Or even. Roger, you know, putting Holly in this impossible situation, you should be in a hospital. I was waiting for that sanctimonious set to your mouth. You're going to turn me over to the cops, aren't you? You'd do anything to get me out of here. Hospital. Dr. Bauer. Oh, um, is she in the ER? Okay, I'll be in, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll be in soon, soon. You know, I promised Michelle that this year she could stay up and I would see in the new year with her, but now I can't. But you're gonna have her here with me. Well, we can't do that, can we, Holly? It's all right, I'll see if one of her old babysitters can stay with her. Well, are you gonna make it? If he follows instructions. <laughs> Which means probably not. He should be in a hospital, Holly. Can't you just come and check in on him? And we should tell the police. I can't. I promise. I didn't. Ed, please. Now, he has got to have some time to find out who did this to him. I promised him a couple of days. He didn't do anything wrong. Holly, He's the one who got hurt. Holly, it is not the Red Cross who's after him. It's the police. Now, the man is wanted on charges of what? A bribery, fraud, obstruction of justice? I can't remember the whole list, but I'm sure that you can. And yet here you stand yet again, trying to convince me that Roger is above the law, that none of this stuff applies to him. I want you to be a friend and not a responsible citizen for one uh, minute. Holly! Why don't you just forget it's Roger? Because if it weren't Roger, you wouldn't have called me. Would you? I mean, it always gets back to the same thing. It always gets back to the three of us.